Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. This one on getting characters to speak, think, ask questions, and also using broadcasts for really precise actions. Quite commonly in your projects, you'll have more than one character, so I'll add a random one. And you might want them to have a conversation with each other. This is achieved by going to the Looks menu. And you'll see you've got Say and you've got Think. We'll drag out one of each of these to compare them and we might get them to work from when we press the space bar. So, because Sprite 2 is selected, the lady, when we press the space bar, she will say hello for two seconds. Just like that. Now obviously we can change the text to whatever we like and we can also change how long she talks for. So we'll try that now. Taz McCarthy for five seconds instead. The difference is with the think, the speech bubble changes to be a thought one, a thought bubble. But apart from that, you can change everything in exactly the same way. So that's the basic talking function. You might have a program where you'd like the character to ask the person playing the program a question and then to do something with the answer. To do that, we come to sensing and we've got ask. It works in almost exactly the same way. You can change the question to whatever you like. And now when I press spacebar, the character will ask, what's your name? And you'll notice an answer box comes up. Now it says, and wait, it's waiting for us to put in an answer. We can put on whatever we like, but at the moment it'll do nothing because we haven't told it to do anything with the answer. We might want it to repeat back our name for us. So we'll come to looks and we'll drag another one of these here. But now back in sensing, you'll notice directly underneath is one that says answer. We can actually drag that to replace here. And it means it'll say whatever we put in as the answer to our question. So let's test that now. What's your name? Type in your name, hit enter and then she says our name for us. Now a lot of the time you might like it to say something besides just the name. So for just for the moment we'll drag out our answer and we'll go to the operators where we've got the join command. We'll put our answer in the second half and now we might add your name is and we'll test that your name is whatever we type in. You can add more than one join command. So we put in a second one. It'll join your name is this and then whatever we say afterwards. Test that now. Okay, and it joins all three together. If you're having a long conversation between two characters, you might find it quite tricky timing when they speak to each other. So one starts speaking as soon as the other one finishes. Luckily Scratch has something built in to make that really easy for us. It's called a broadcast. If we come up to control, you'll notice we have a broadcast command. We also have a receive command. A broadcast works just like sending someone a secret signal when you tell them when I give you the signal I want you to do this. You can set it up to happen whenever you like. In this case we might set it up for the space bar again. And then you tell it to listen for the signal and when you receive it to do something else. So let's set up an example with a conversation. We might like one character to say hello for two seconds and then broadcast a secret signal so we go to new, we call it whatever we want, we'll just call it speak1. Now the name is for your reference. Scratch doesn't understand anything by speak1, it's just a name for you to know what you've done it for. So at the moment when we click, press space, our character will say hello for two seconds and then send a secret signal. It's secret because we can't see anything happen on the screen, but Scratch is making the signal. The next thing we do is to get the second character to receive the signal. So I'll click and drag this to copy it to the cat. And we'll come to the cat and it's there for us. When I receive our first signal and then whatever you want it to do. 
so in this case we want it to say something else back so let's test that out we hit the spacebar hello the signal is sent and then the other character speaks if you had a long conversation going back and forth you can just add more and more broadcasts so when this one says how are you we'll add another broadcast a second one speak to and then back to our other character when I receive speak to and then whatever you'd like her to do maybe you'd like her to move across the screen maybe you'd like her to make a sound maybe you'd like to continue the conversation whatever you like to do it is completely up to you and it's a great way to make very precise things happen in chain reactions so we'll do one final test character speaks sends the signal other character speaks sends another signal and then the conversation goes back and forth very precisely